Hey everybody, Propboy1 here, and today we will be taking a look and reviewing the Spirit Halloween 2022 Techie Design Bag of Bones. Now before we get started, here's a quick look at his box. His box is not that big, but here's the front. Here's the side depicting his animation. The side depicting his size. And the back of the box with uh, the poem, uh, diagram, and battery instructions. But before we get any further in this review, let's take a look at a demo. Once activated, Bag of Bones will immediately pop up out of his bag as he makes a very familiar screaming noise. He will then laugh at you and as he's resetting he will make another very familiar noise and um, the entire skeleton illuminates green during the activation. Now obviously he makes familiar noises as I had previously mentioned. Uh, when he pops up he makes the peekaboo penny scream and while he's resetting he makes the same noises that Bag of Bones, uh, not Bag of Bones, I'm sorry. Uh, that the Rattling Bones made from 2014 and a lot of other techie skeletons make the same noises as well. One of the main complaints about this prop when he was first released is that he is too basic and he's plain. There's not really much unique about him. However, this prop is an amazing jump scare. Um, when he's reset, you can't even see the skeleton like at all, really, if he's placed high enough or far enough away. And then when he pops up, he is fast. Like... He scares a lot of people, and people, uh, there's some haunters that don't realize how genuinely scary he is. Like, he is just a basic skeleton, however, his pop-up animation is terrifying. I have seen people that are used to props, like, pretty much jump when he pops up, and even though, again, he's a basic-looking skeleton, but he is a very genuinely effectful prop. And at night, he's illuminated green by this one LED, so you can easily see him that's, uh burlap bag or anything that's not illuminated but the skeleton is and the one led does a fantastic job because at night this guy really glows taking a look at the prop detail though however i will not lie his detail is rather basic the sack is a basic brown burlap sack and the one detail on it is the one thing that most people do not like about this prop and that is the jack spirit acres farm design that takes up the front I see what they were going for. It looks good on the bag. Like, the actual design looks awesome on the bag. However, I do see why people complain about the, like, overall branding of it. Like, the Spirit Acres Farm branding. Because now you kind of have to tie it into some sort of, like, farm theme or something. It... I wish they could have picked just a, maybe a little more generic. Um, maybe not even just a more generic. I wish they would have picked a non-spirit thing to put on the bag. Because I do see where people are complaining. However, I do think it actually looks pretty cool. And the skeleton is your basic skeleton, however, he does have some very nice shading on the skull. I would say a little more shading than, like, the typical Pose and Stay skeletons that most Halloween stores sell. The hands, as well, that are gripping onto the bag have some very nice paint, uh, has a very nice paint job. The rib cage is shaded nicely, however, it is just kind of cheap plastic, so it's not the best. And yeah, just another quick look at the skeleton. Despite the bag, the only other really complaint I have with the detail is that some of the color of the bones are kind of different. Like up here, you can see the collarbone is not the same color as the arm, which can kind of throw you off if you look at him a little more like closely. But I still think it works. And I do think his detail is basic, but I don't think basic is bad for this prop at all. The skeleton's pop-up mechanism is a typical plastic jump scare mechanism. He does feature the new black control boxes, like what pretty much every spirit prop has now. The bag is just a regular kind of fabric material, and the bag is held up by two metal rods. The rib cage is a cheaper plastic, and the rest of the skeleton is like a typical blow mold plastic, like what all the Pose and Stay skeletons are. I believe Bag of Bones is made out of fine material, however, I have seen some that are broken, and some of the ones that are at my stores have come back broken. Uh, he's kind of the typical techie jump scare prop. He will break if he's not properly taken care of. So you just have to really be careful with him and don't overuse him. He'll be fine on Halloween night, but however, you don't want to activate him countless times every day because that is how he will not last. Plus, remember, when you do not use your pop-up props, store them in the up position so these springs do not become too compressed because that will mess the props up. And lastly, 
Uh, on his box and in the original tags in the store, Bag of Bones was originally supposed to retail for $180. However, he now retails for $150. If you ask me, $180 for this prop is kind of a ripoff. $150 is a little better. However, I do think this guy could have gone even cheaper. We have props like Pop-Up Zombie back from 2013 and 2014, one of the original Techie Jump Scare props, who was only $100. Uh, with today's pricing, I think this guy could have benefited off of $130. Uh, Pop-Up Zombie came with the tombstone and everything. He was only $100. I know this guy comes with the bag, but still, I think $130 would have been a little more fair. $150 isn't awful. Just be happy that he wasn't his original $180. Concluding this review, I'm going to go ahead and give Bag of Bones an 8 out of 10. I think this prop is awesome. He's one of my favorites of the year, and I do think he's a little overhated. I do think he's a very effectful prop. However, you just need to be careful with him. Thank you all so much for watching this review, and stay tuned for more coming soon. Goodbye.